I hope you have seen my lecture on the compositional structure of garment. In this lecture, we will be discussing about properties, occurrences, alteration and uses of garnet group of minerals. As I had given the references in my earlier lecture, here also you may find the references at the bottom of the slide. When we discuss about the properties of garnet, it shows euhedral to subhedral crystals comprised of dodecahedral or trapezohedral faces. In thin section, these crystals usually yield 6 to 8 sided shape. If you look into the physical properties of garnet, these are generally characterized by a hardness of 6.5 to 7 and a specific gravity ranging between 3.5 and 4.3 varying with its composition. The luster of the garnet is generally found as vitreous to resinous and it is having various colors which is varying with the composition but most often garnet displays colors like red, brown, yellow, white, green and black. The color of the powder when you streak against a porcelain plate it shows white. The, it is optically transparent to translucent when it is shown to light. If you look into the thin section it shows high positive relief and having its optic orientation is largely isotropic. As I had mentioned, when you look, into, look about the color of garnet, it is extremely variable, which is controlled by the amounts of iron, manganese and sometimes chromium present in the crystal structure. So when you look into the pyrope, it is typically pinkish red, ranging from an almost crimson color to a purplish shade. If you have some chromium present in pyro, such variety shows greenish violet to purple hue. And in case of almondine, it is commonly deep red in color or varying between deep red to brownish black. And under the thin section, it is colorless to pinkish red. And in case of spasartine, the color ranges from black to red, brown and orange. Whereas grossular is colorless, sometimes it also shows pink to yellowish green. The name Hesonite is used for yellowish and brownish varieties of garnet or grossular in which chromium imparts a vivid green color to the mineral. Whereas Andradite ranges from yellowish to dark brown but the titanium bearing varieties we have already named as melanite and sholomite are black in hand specimen and brown under thin section. There is another garnet called Dementoid which is a transparent yellow green variety and Toposolite is a honey yellow variety of garnet. And Eurovite is a chromium bearing garnet is typically dark green to a vivid emerald green and is green in thin section. So far we had explained some of the important physical properties of garnet. Now let's see what could be the diagnostic features of garnet. So garnets are recognized by its isometric crystals, its habit, hardness and color. The specific gravity, refractive index and unit cell dimensions are used to distinguish members of the group. Under the thin section, these are recognized by isotropic habit or weakly biofringent nature, crystal habit and high positive relief. Generally, garnet is thought as an isotropic mineral, but in some situation, although uh, you, we know that almondine and pyro are usually isotropic, spasartine may be sometimes show weakly anisotropic and the large crystals of eugranite series garnet that is basically eurovite, grossular and andradite they commonly show marked optical anisotropy. So in general mostly common garnets these are all almondine and pyro they we call it as isotropic in nature 
but the larger garnets in ugandite series sometimes show marked anisotropy spinel is distinctly green or brown when you compare with spinel and other similar varieties of garnet in the garnet group spinel is distinctly green or brown in color which occurs as octahedrons and often has a lower refractive index the basic section of apatite in thin section may be confused with garnet but apatite is characterized by lower relief and it yield uniaxial interference figures this slide shows garnet in plain polarized light and cross polars if you see the left side of the image it shows subhedron brownish crystals of almandine garnet from scotland which is characterized by high relief and abundant inclusions that image is taken under plain polarized light if you look at into the right side it is the same view under crossed polars and it shows the garnet is isotropic sometimes the inclusion shows weak birefringence now let's discuss some of the characteristic of individual garnet minerals for pyrope we had already mentioned it is having a composition of mg3 al2 si3 or 12 in in this case sometimes calcium and fe2 plus are also present replacing magnesium uh, its color is deep red or to nearly black it is often transparent and used as a gem rhodolite is a name given to a pale rose red or purple garnet corresponding in composition to two parts of pyrope and one almandine and let's look into the almandine which is chemically fe3 al2 si3 or 12 where fe3 plus may replace some aluminum in its octahedral position and magnesium may replace some iron in its cubic place almandine is the most common species in the garnet group color is fine deep red which is transparent in precious garnet brownish red varieties are also formed and translucent in common garnet spessartine that is the another type of garnet having chemical composition of mn3 al2 si3 or 12 in which fe2 plus usually replaces mn2 plus in its cubic side and fe3 plus replaces some aluminum in its octahedral position the color of which is brownish to red now let's discuss about grossular as we had discussed grossular having a composition of ca3 al2 si3 or 12 it is also known as esonite or cinnamon stone it often contains fe2 plus replacing the calcium in its cubic side and fe3 plus replacing aluminum in its octahedral side the color of which is white green yellow cinnamon brown and pale red varieties are available for andradite the composition is ca3 fe2 si3 or 12 in which aluminum may replace fe3 plus in its octahedral position fe2 plus mn2 plus and mg may replace calcium in its cubic position the color of which varies from yellow green brown to black as we have discussed demantoid is a green variety with a brilliant luster which is used as a gemstone now let's look into the uroite which is having a composition of ca3 cr2 si3 or 12 which is having a color of emerald green so these are some of the distinguishing characteristic of individual varieties of garnet in the garnet group of minerals now let's discuss about the occurrences of garnet garnet is a common mineral occurring abundantly in metamorphic rock and as an accessory constituent in some igneous rock its most characteristic occurrence is in mica schist hornblende schist and gneisses which are rarer in granitic and alkaline igneous intrusives pyrope occurs in ultra basic rocks such as peridotite or kimberlites and in serpentines derived from these rocks it is used as a diagnostic tracer mineral in the prospecting of kimberlite when we go, go for exploration almandine is the common garnet in metamorphic rocks resulting from the regional metamorphism of argillaceous sediments almandine and pyrope are widespread detrital garnet 
in sedimentary rock which shows that these two garnet occur in majority in the metamorphic rocks or in igneous rocks spessartite occurs in skarn deposit as it yields from various reaction with the carbonate bearing host rock if you see glossolar is found chiefly as a product of contact or regional metamorphism of impure limestones andradite may be formed as a result of metamorphism of impure limestone having silica this involves the introduction of fe2o3 and some silica with limestone that yields andradite so if you see into the reaction calcium carbonate plus fe2o3 and silica some iron oxide and silica that yields andradite that is ca3 fe2 si3 o12 plus carbon dioxide so this is the reaction that produces andradite as a result of the metamorphism of impure limestone if you see melanite it is a black variety of andradite occurs in alkaline igneous rocks uroite is the rarest of this group of garnet and is found in serpentine associated with chromite almandine rich garnet is a typical garnet in mica schist and gneiss spessartine and composition so intermediate between spessartine and almandine are found in felsic igneous rocks such as pegmatite granite and rhyolite now let's discuss about the alteration and uses of garnet garnet often alters to talc serpentine and chlorite or occasionally to other minerals such as hornblende epidote or iron oxide under different conditions a common alteration product of almandine is chlorite if you see the uses of garnet all species of garnet except uroite are used as gemstones the most valued is a green andradite known as demantoid it is also used in filters to help purify water in wastewater treatment plants the unusual angular fractures and high hardness of the garnet make them desirable for abrasive purposes including garnet paper or sand paper the name of garnet is derived from the latin term granatus which means like a grain so this is about the garnet so so far we have discussed garnet as its properties alteration occurrences and uses so thank you